Yeah, because something that you uh, were talking about a little while ago was uh, you were furnishing your uh, apartment or house uh, with the uh, with crypto, essentially. Like, how how did that? I guess why did you choose to do it with crypto, and then how did that journey like go? How how what was the experience like for you? Yeah, so I, I, I've been uh, kind of relocating around Australia over the last sort of five or six years, and I've done a full circle and and come back to Sydney, which is where I was born. Um, but so I, I moved um, back to Sydney at the start of this year in April, um, and I basically came with with a dog, a car, and a camper trailer, and not much else. Um, so when I was looking for a new place because uh, I, I didn't have anywhere to stay, um, I, I found I found a rental here in Sydney, and and I moved in. But I didn't have anything to put in it other than myself and my dog. So I had to furnish it from the ground up, and I'm talking about you know, simple things like tea towels to TVs to beds to mattresses, everything in between. Um, so I had nothing essentially other than what I, I carried in my camping trailer, which was obviously devoted to when I went camping. Um, and look, I, I can live out of that, but obviously I was looking to move into a house <laughs> as opposed to living out of my car permanently. Although that is an option for, for later down the track, which is available to me. So yeah, I, obviously I'd been working with BitRefill for about oh, six months or so um, at, at this stage. So I was obviously using the platform, getting familiar with the product availability in, in Australia. And I thought, heck, um, you know, we're moving into a bull run. It's a, it's a great time to, it's going to cost me money either way, whether I pay with the fiat or not. It's quite expensive furnishing a house, even for, for a single person like myself. You know, um, like I said, I needed a bed, a mattress, a TV, a dishwasher or, or a washing machine. I needed everything. So, you know, those things start to add up, especially the white goods. You know, a, a bed is going going to be about a thousand bucks for a mattress, a few hundred dollars for a bed frame. There's already fifteen hundred bucks. You know, it starts to add on very quickly. So, um, yeah. And, and <laughs> I mean, I've got most of my net wealth in Bitcoin because because, you know, I believe it's a hard money. So. Um, it's kind of how the cookie crumbled. And so I thought, you know, here's a great opportunity for me to use it as, as a um, bit of a test to see how far I can make this actually stretch. How, how, how much can BitRefill look after me? Um, and so I started, yeah, you know, I, I looked online and obviously there's some limitations because we don't support every single store in Australia. Um, many don't even do gift cards, but there's, there's a very, very diverse range. I think there's got to be at least a few hundred if not more, um, different digital goods and, and gift cards on our on our Australian BitRefill page, which is, I think, pretty impressive. And it's only growing. Um, so there's even more since I did this back in April, which would have helped me even further. But basically, you know, I started at the essentials. So I needed a bed. I needed a mattress. I needed a fridge. I needed a washing machine. Um, basically going through that list and going, okay, what what is possible for me to buy through gift cards through BitRefill and what is just simply not possible? And then kind of putting them in separate lists and then working my way down each of those lists. And, you know, the, the bit refill list was quite long. You know, there's a lot of stuff I could really get off it. So, you know, I got, um, you know, my, basically my entire kitchen, all of the appliances is all, all through bit refill. So my washing machine, um, bit refill, my kettle, my toaster, my, uh, my blender, uh, my hot, what else is in there? I'm looking around now. My microwave, my fridge, all of these things were bought through BitRefill um, through an electronic store called The Good Guys, um, which is one of the product sets on, on BitRefill's website. I could have also done this at JB Hi-Fi. Um, you know, there's a number of different electronic stores that, that you can go to, but I just happened to go to The Good Guys because that's where, it, where I decided to go. Um, and then, you know, then it was on to the bedroom. So, you know, I had to think about... Um, Things like mattress protectors, sheets, pillowcases, a, a quilt, um, you know, a, a tall boy, a bedside table, you know, all the things that you fill in your bedroom. And so, you know, I went to places like Maya, um, which is a sort of like a, an all-in-one, I'd say like a Walmart or something like that, perhaps, um, or a Costco, maybe not to that extreme length, but um, that type of store that has a, a number of different, you know, I could have bought a kettle there as well if I wanted to. Um, but I got all my homeware sort of stuff. So I went there and got my, my plates, my bowls, my forks, my knives, my cups, um, all that sort of stuff, my tea towels, my towels, my linen, 
my, my, my Duna cover, like I mentioned, all that sort of stuff to, to uh, fill the home. So, you know, things are starting to come along here and I've, I've only really visited two or three stores and, and I'm, you know, it's never ending. You can, can continue filling your house with as much stuff as you want. So, um, yeah, then I, then I was like, all right, well, now I need, you know, obviously I work remotely, um, so I, I work from home. So I'm going to need some type of office set up. I've obviously got my PC, uh, which ironically I bought with BitRefill some time ago as well. Um, but, you know, I needed to get some sort of office, some sort of chair, you know, um, and fill my living room. So, um, you know, I went to Ikea and Ikea is a great place to, to go and, and furnish a house with. And there was all sort of knickknacks for other parts of the house that you can pick up there as well. Um, so I yeah, went to Ikea, bought myself a desk for my office. Um, actually, this chair I didn't get from Ikea because it's a bit of an ergonomic sort of chair and I had to, had to pay with fiat for that one. Actually, wait, did I? No, I did. I did, sadly. Um, but yeah, so, you know, started coming along. The, the couch you see in the background there, that like brand new couch, that one that one was bought through BitRefill um, through, through a furniture store called Freedom. Um, the rug that you see on the floor, which is underneath my Greyhound, um, that was bought with BitRefill. So quite a, quite a bunch of stuff was was bought through BitRefill. I was quite impressed that I was managed to really furnish, you know, I'd say probably somewhere between 75, 80% of my house using BitRefill. Yeah, it's interesting that you've had this like experience because um, I was, because when, 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 when you said about it, I was thinking, well, how how far could I go? And I kind of looked around my, my apartment <clears throat> and I'll be honest, like a lot of the stuff I got secondhand because uh, at the time I, this is ages ago when I moved in, I didn't have anything. So I was just like, well, you know, I went on like Gumtree and picked up, you know, sofas and stuff all just secondhand. But anything I bought new, I looked around and basically I could, I could have bought it. This is exactly, this is all before I even knew about crypto when I, when I got into this apartment. But everything I bought new, I could have bought with, um, with bit refill basically um like pretty much every single thing in this apartment like, especially in the uk because there's a lot of options um and then it kind of extends to okay well could i buy my holiday with bit refill yep could i buy my flights yep you know it's like pretty much start thinking most things can i do my weekly food shop yep because i often do do it with bitcoin and bit refill anyway um so it's most stuff other than like paying bills and taxes because i'd be not in el salvador <laughs> um because you can do it there right um other than that there's not much that I can't do with uh, with with Bitcoin, thanks I guess to mainly to BitRefill, which is pretty cool. And then obviously there's things like crypto cards and things that you can use for when fiat is uh, the only option. So yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess that, that yeah, that, that, that's, that's a cool. good point. Like a lot of the stuff I bought was brand new. Uh, you know, you could certainly go to some of those like secondhand marketplaces and and pick up stuff. So not everyone furnishing a whole house is probably thinking like I'm thinking where they're going to buy brand new for everything. But I, I just went through a bit of a personal breakup and I was like, look, I'm, I'm splurging. This is, you know, I'm living, this is the first time I've lived alone ever in my life. I've always had housemates or girlfriends or lived with my family. Um, so I thought, you know, I'm, this is my chance to make things the way I like it without anyone else's input. So if I want to buy a nice looking fridge, cause I want that nice looking fridge, then I'm going to buy it. <laughs> so I had that luxury. But you're right, yeah. If you're if you're looking at buying secondhand stuff, then you know you, you're up. Maybe you could ask the individual selling it if they'd accept Bitcoin, and and maybe that's probably becoming more of an option these days as more people are becoming aware and and actually holding it as part of their um part of their wealth. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I was I was pretty impressed, and I think it, like you said, it only gets easier over time as well. Um, and depending on where people are listening to this from, you know your particular region may have more, may have less options too. So like at the American market, for instance, is probably one of the strongest that we have because there's so many retailers, so many gift card options. But, you know, here in Australia, you can see how far I've made it stretch and I think it's pretty impressive. Yeah, I um, yeah, no, I agree with you. And I remember when I was in Brazil, I was looking, because um, another thing was looking at buying a property in Brazil at one point because uh, it's relatively cheap for me being from the uk and i love the country um and i was looking i was like oh what if i did buy it what would i do and then i realized that there's talk and stock and there's these other like furnishing stores so i was like actually because i was I, if i was going to buy the house i'd buy it with bitcoin which is an option in some with some uh real estate agents and then yeah i realized well i could probably potentially buy the house with bitcoin which would say 
by the by, like ignoring the Bitcoin aspect, it would just save me hassle anyway, because it's like an international money, essentially, then I don't have to deal with the exchange rates. And it's quicker, it takes like 10 minutes rather than, you know, all the time I'd have to do like a, you know, 50 grand bank transfer or something, you know, from England to the Brazil and all the taxes on that and all this stuff. So it's basically just a lot easier anyway. And then <clears throat> there's the issue of like getting a card in Brazil if I haven't got like a, a bank account locally, which I don't because I don't have a residence permit. So then it's like, well, actually, if you're someone from another country going to, you know, going to another country, then it's it makes life a billion times easier, actually, if you're going to buy like a holiday let or a property to live in like, you know, six months a year or something like that. Um, just makes sense, essentially, from any perspective, even if you don't like crypto. It makes sense to just yeah, buy some Bitcoin. I mean, <laughs> I agree. And that's probably one of the things that got a lot of people so interested in the technology was that it, it generally does solve a bunch of problems. I mean, we're, we're both pretty lucky is, you know, quite recently we, we had the chance to go to El Salvador um, and actually meet for the first time, which was awesome. But, you know, that's kind of the epicenter of Bitcoin on like a global sort of country level. Um, so, yeah, it's awesome to see, you know, the availability, albeit it's still very new, the availability of Bitcoin as a payment option and, and how it kind of, what, it, what it, it's like a little bit of a, a peak into the future of what it could could be like in you know in Australia or in the UK or other parts of the world. I don't know if we're necessarily as close as El Salvador, unfortunately, here in Australia. Um, but you know I, that I think a lot of people think that it's probably likely heading in in a similar type direction in most places over the course of you know a long enough time period. Okay.